coming right up. For the Denver Nuggets, they'll be on the road in a tough task. But when this team shines, they shine brightly. Now it's proving time. Up next, right after this. Hello, everyone. Proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. And a great time to check out the power rankings. See how the teams are stacking up across the league. They're in a bit of a holding pattern, hoping to take that next leap. And when you look at Los Angeles, they're a top-tier team that's faced some challenges this year. Obviously, still winning games, but maybe not at the clip most expected. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets' opening lineup. We've got Cunningham. He's there with the waiter. And it's Allen in at the point. And for Los Angeles, we've got the professor. He's out there with Shake and Bake. Waller is out there with the bulldozer. And it's Drake in at the power forward. A lot of trade rumors begin to swirl now, Brent. Several teams out there uh, trying to add talent. And sometimes it comes at the expense of team chemistry. It, it can, and I think teams who are very, very aware of their potential to be into the playoffs are careful to tinker with that. If they know they're going to have an opportunity to play in the postseason, the additions that they have to make, Kevin, they have to understand that that player coming in is great for us, but how is it that that player comes in? Who does it affect in our locker room? Or they make a trade or don't make a trade because they're worried about team chemistry and how it'll be affected. Exactly. Yeah. But again, I'll go back to an addition sometimes into a locker room with just that talent may affect the talent you already have. And if you're really cognizant of that fact, sometimes not making the deal is the best deal to make. And he's good on the three ball. Over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. Yeah, that effort just not good enough because even if that defender was a bit taller, the shooter already locked in. Count that bucket. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Are you asking me, G.A.? I, I'm not sure. Now here's Allen. He's coming off a 13-point game against Memphis. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Here's Lewis. Had a 24-point outing in their last game again. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got plenty of assists to go along with all those points. Shot clock at six. Shook his man loose with a crafty play inside. And then the dunk just tops it off beautiful. The pass to Cunningham. Poked away. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. Six on the shot clock. Allen surveying the D. Just a bit of a rut here early. Just one of four so far. Tipped away. With one on the clock. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. That's a defensive breakdown. You, you can't let him get that deep. Yeah, how do you let him get a lounge chair down there and be comfortable in the paint like that? Here's the professor. 29 points for him last game again. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. Seed up. Lewis covering. Shoots it. And the jumper falls for him. Allen's got five. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. The professor passes to Lewis. The outside leaner. And he hits the jumper for two. Didn't have to lean. Not a defender on him, but he looked very much in rhythm doing it. Pass to Cunningham. Down low. And Cunningham with the slam. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Outside Aldridge. Lock at six. Pulls up from the corner. Offensive rebound. Cunningham. It's tipped. 
Here's Watford. Aldridge is covering. Watford, that's good. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Pass to the waiter. Allen outside. From deep three-point range. It doesn't go for him. Here's the professor, defended by Allen. Fires from deep. Sinks the triple. He's got five. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Outside Aldridge. The feed to Cunningham. Back to Aldridge. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Los Angeles making a switch here. Farrell's checked in. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Just so fast. I mean, it's like trying to stop a train when he's coming in for the slam. The Nuggets trail by four. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Allen kicks to early. Four on the shot clock. It's good from long range. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Passes it to the professor. Who is outside? Leaner from distance. Again, Los Angeles. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Allen passes to the waiter. Back to Allen. There's the three. That's another miss. Number four. He's two for six shooting. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Lewis, left side. Buries it down low. Lewis has got 10 points in the game. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Back to the action after this word. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Boy, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. I yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. The Nuggets trail by five. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. Early out there with Peyton. Then it's Barkley. Then there's the waiter. And it's Blair in at the three spot. And that one, good. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Who is outside? There's the pass to the professor. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. To the middle. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Pass to Carter. Lewis kicks to Farrell. Carter outside, beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. Stolen by Lewis. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Let's it go from the wing. It's rebounded by Peyton. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. He feeds it to Barkley. Five on the clock. But three gets it to go from beyond the arc. Early's got it all tied up now for the Nuggets. 
The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Faster pace now, Brent, in the NBA. This has become an endurance sport, and well-conditioned athletes are a must. Obviously, Kevin, over the past couple of seasons, the, the pace has picked back up. It's very reminiscent of the early 80s when you had the Lakers running, the Denver Nuggets Denver, running. Yes. You, have, you have these teams that are just flying up and down the floor. So as a fan, I think it's a wonderful opportunity, especially the closer you can sit to watch a Russell Westbrook, to watch a Paul George, to see a Giannis to get up and down the floor with such fluidity and grace and skill set. So the game opening up has also opened the eyes to the fans about just how great the athleticism of NBA players is. change here. Banks has checked in. A moment now to check out who's leading in the all-star voting. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. Well, you look at the professor. He's at the head of the pack in the West. And I can't say that anyone is surprised. Always one of the players that everyone loves to watch. And we'll keep you posted as the voting continues. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. And Lewis has it in the corner. Trying to get open his party. Lewis gets the bucket. Lewis has got 13 points. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. For three. And again, Denver with the triple. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Here's the professor. And it's off the back rim. No good. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Banks kicks to Payton. Knocks it loose. Back to Banks. Well, Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Blair can't hit. For Los Angeles, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Trills the three-pointer. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Peyton outside. Down to five on the shot clock. It's stolen by McLemore. Lewis against Banks. Pass to the professor. A three ball. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And you can see that backcourt just setting the tone for the entire team. Now here's Peyton. Inside. Here's the professor covered by Peyton. Shots good by McLemore. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Peyton passes to Barton. Here's Banks. Trains it from beyond the arc. Banks has got his first three points of the game. Of all the action happening there, Kevin, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Here's the professor. He's got eight. To the inside, Carter, the pass to Lewis, and stolen by Peyton. Shot from 12. Again, the Nuggets score. Los Angeles calls timeout. <laughs> the fans certainly got their money's worth in that game. Boy, was that a battle, and it turned out to be a real pretty win. And they had to scrape and claw just to get themselves back into the game and into overtime, but they really kept their composure in the extra five minutes, and it paid off for the win.
Both teams making substitutions here. Let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see which teams made the most of their opportunities on the offensive glass this month. Number five, the Nuggets. They have been aggressive underneath. I mean, they're playing with a physicality that you don't often see, and it's led to a lot of second-chance points. Here's Watford. Pass to Farrell. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Six to shoot. Here's the bulldozer. Denver grabs the miss. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Allen. Five points in the game. And Cunningham with the slam. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Here's Farrell. They lead by one. It's stolen by Allen. Poke loose, out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Looking at the numbers for Shake and Bake. Good season for him last year. First in assists, 15th in field goal percentage, and amongst the league's top tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And dropping a lot of dimes. He led the league in assists because he's the ultimate competitor, an absolute magician with the basketball. Here's Allen, and slam dunk by Allen. An automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one hand stuff to get the two points. Farrell kicks to Lewis. There's the triple. Don't they get it back? The pass to Ball. The three. Los Angeles keeps it going. A new 14 second shot clock. Yep, it counts. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Denver's gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Allen outside. Five to shoot. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And here is Lewis. He's got 13. Out left to the wing. Farrell passes to the bulldozer. Launches it. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Nuggets lead by one. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. A pretty close game from the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. They were unable to ever build a big lead in the first period, with three points being their largest cushion. In the second quarter, they erased what had been a fairly big deficit at one point, and now here they are sitting on a one-point halftime lead. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half. Well, I thought that turning point was when the bench came in. Those guys really hustled, and they gave the team some energy. And then they started to score baskets. That was a bonus. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted. Playing an outstanding game. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been one outstanding game for Shake and Bake. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. We've got Shake and Bake 
Also, the professor out there. Bulldozer is out there with Baller. And it's Drake in at the force line. That's the group starting the second half for Quinn Snyder. And how about the bounce pass there being used to perfection? Los Angeles trails by three. The professor passes to Drake. Here's the professor. Back to Lewis. Denver grabs the miss. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Yep, that one goes in there. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. And here is Los Angeles now after the Nuggets pick up two. Baller passes to the Bulldogs. They get a hand on it with the shot. No good there. And it's Denver the other way. Aldridge left side. To the paint. Lewis gets the bucket. Lewis has got 15 points. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And there's another turnover by the Nuggets. You know, probably no guys love really jawing at each other. What was your criteria for issuing a, a double technical for trash talk? Yeah, <laughs> to, to, in today's game, it's kind of like it could be a whisper right. or, or a wink, you know, the way it, that they look at it. It's both sides, doesn't it? And yeah. they just try to curtail anything that could escalate, Kevin. That's really what the referees are doing. As soon as they see some kind of body movement or see guys starting that way, they want to cut it off before anything else happens. So the criteria is a little bit confusing. Sometimes I like to see them get after a little bit. Here's the waiter after the basket by Los Angeles. He kicks it to early. Connects from three-point range. Nine points in the game so far. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. The professor passes to Drake. Pass to the professor. From deep, the long distance three is buried. The professor's got five points now in the quarter. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Here's Watford. Here's the professor. Got a hand on it. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Peyton surveying the floor. Denver passing it around. Here's Sita. Another three for Denver. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Los Angeles trails by four. Los Angeles calls timeout. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team, Greg. with some changes. McLemore has come in for Baller. And Farrell subbed in for Lewis. And Denver also making a switch. Banks has checked in. Here's Farrell. Over Banks. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him. And he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. 
Here's Early. He's got nine. Here's the waiter. And that one, good. The waiter's got the lead up to six now for Denver. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. And McLemore shoves it in. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Banks. Pass to Cunningham. Over McLemore. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Down low. Carter, the pass to the professor. Passes to Drake. Feeds it to McLemore. Here's the professor. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Now just a two-point Nugget lead. The Nuggets have gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. And Fresh picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. The bulldozer, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Here is Cunningham. He's got eight. Over McLemore. And another miss by Denver. Los Angeles has gone five of ten from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. And the pass to the bulldozer. McLemore with the ball. Pass to the professor. Four on the clock. Here's the bulldozer. And it's all evened up. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis. And that was some serious effort there. Now here's Peyton. He has five. Lets it go with a three. Drills it from outside. Peyton's got his third basket of the night. The D is there, but not present enough, Kevin. You can't just be there. You got to disrupt and get in the face of the shooter. Here's the professor. Here's the bulldozer, and he dunks it down. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Here is Cunningham. And Cunningham with the slam. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Here's the professor. From deep three-point range, misses there. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. The Nuggets on top. They're up by three. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. Taking a look at the Nuggets, we've got Barkley, and it's Blair in at the three slot. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Pass to McLemore. To the middle. Here's the professor. Misses from short range. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. you got to play tough, physical defense. Now, here is Barkley. Passes it to Farrell. Here's the professor. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. From deep. 
from beyond the arc and then some. The professor's got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Now Allen, Barkley outside. There's the pass to Aldridge. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Here's the professor to take the lead, and again, Los Angeles with the triple. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling as this game moves on, he's getting stronger. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. We've seen the professor really having a great game. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. with some changes. Baller, he's checked in for McLemore. And Lewis subbed in for Farrell. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys? Now, here's Lewis, the professor, and it's blocked. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. And he was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Tuesday, they'll start out on the road and play the Rockets in Houston. And then on Tuesday, they'll go up against the Grizzlies in Memphis. For Denver, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. There's the steal. And pushing it out, here's Los Angeles. Lewis with the three. Hits the three-point bomb. And the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Pass to the lead. Allen outside. It's tipped. Out to the right wing. Pass to Cunningham. Back to Allen. Six on the shot clock. For the three. Aldridge can't get it to go. Los Angeles leading by four. Pass to the professor. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Allen drives in. And there's the pass to the late. Let's the three fly. Offensive rebound. Kicks it to Cunningham. Here it's Sita. That's tipped. Here's Watford. Aldridge is covering. Pass to Drake. 
Here's Watford. Here's the professor. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're down by nine. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. and our Jordan player of the game, The Professor. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Inside. Here's the waiter. Down low. Cunningham passes to the waiter. Shot clock at five. Looking to end the run. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut to just seven on the basket for Mulder. And that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the knee to shreds. Who is outside? Passes it to the professor. From deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Aldridge. Fires the three. Yes! And now they trail by just four. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Who is outside? And it's blocked. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. Now I'm wondering, Greg, is that the biggest shot of the game? And here is Los Angeles now. Denver able to drain the three. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Just five to shoot. Shoots the three. Gets the three to fall. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. Nine seconds left in the game. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. seconds left here in the fourth quarter good oh, to 
That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Los Angeles calls timeout. They lead by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. intentionally they're going to have to do that now again and again they're not in the penalty yet and you know what smart foul you got to try and extend the game and so they choose to intentionally foul Drops and that makes it a three point lead. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four point ball game. Breathe easy now. The biggest free throws in the game, and he's coming through. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.